um, teaching children a, a broad range of knowledge is, is important. There's an infinite universe of knowledge out there, but only a finite amount of time in schools to teach it. So one would assume that what we teach children is uh, very important, what we choose to teach them. So my next question is, what should be taught in a knowledge-rich curriculum and, and who gets to decide? Well, I think the second question has to be answered before the first. Right. So who gets to decide and then they'll decide and then we'll get on and teach it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's not teachers. I don't think teachers should be deciding what children should learn. I think they should have a voice in that decision, but so should society. Parents should have a voice, but so should other stakeholders. If we get education wrong, everybody pays a price. Their insurance premiums are higher because crime is more rampant when you have lower levels of education. So for me, I think the crucial thing is we need a national debate about what should be and should not be in our curriculum. And we need that debate to be an informed debate. So people often say, well, Latin is good because Latin's a training for the mind. Okay, interesting idea. Let's find out if it's a better training for the mind than chess, because we can put chess in the curriculum. Right. People say, ah, the good thing about Latin is it teaches you the roots of English words. Yes, that may be true. We don't have to learn Latin grammar to do that. You just need to learn that where, where these words come from in Latin so you can use them to actually take words in English and say, ah, I, I can figure out what that means by, by using these word chains. So I think teaching kids about Latin and Greek roots, you know, Eohippus, Dawn Horse, Hippopotamus, River Horse, Mesopotamia, between two rivers. If kids have that kind of knowledge, they can make up, they, they can make up their own connections um, very, very, very easily and see the connections between our words. And so uh, that would be a, a very good thing to do, I think. But you know, we need that debate. Um, we need the debate about what you need to know to be an informed member of the public in England or the United Kingdom. And I think those things are different. Mm. And that's the thing the Americans have done very well. They, they're very clear about what it means to be an American, what knowledge you need to know. You need to know about the, the, the War of Independence. You need to know about the Civil War. You need to know about the Civil Rights Movements. There's a clear set of things that if you don't know about these things, you're regarded as ignorant. Not stupid, but ignorant. And I think we would really... Um, be a lot further forward if we had such a debate in England about what it is that you need to know. So some things are not useful. They're not going to help you get a job, mm. but they are going to help you put yourself forward in the public sphere and, and, and discuss issues with people, discuss issues of political importance, exercise your right as a democratic citizen. So I think those are the things that, are, that, that need to be taken into account. But ultimately, it can't be just politicians. We need a much wider debate and when I was invited to join the curriculum review panel by Nick Gibb, I told him that I thought that project would take 10 to 15 years. Hmm. I think we need about 10 to 15 years to thrash out how we make this selection from culture, as Dennis Lawton put it. Hmm. You know, we have to acknowledge that, as you said, Adrian, the fact is we have to be selective, but we need to select on the basis of several completely, completely conflicting ideas, hmm. passing on the great things that have been thought and said, empowering young people to take control of their lives, preparation for democratic citizenship, and preparation for the world of work. Those things often conflict in very complex ways, and that's why it's not a quick process to hammer out what you need to know to be an informed English person, or a Welsh person, or a Scottish person, or the Northern Irish person. Sure, excellent, thank you for that.